بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone Welcome in a new English class of Mega Goal 6 for third secondary grade Lesson will be writing on page 76 and 77 What I want you to do now is to open your book on page 76 and page 77 Let's get started uh, our object, objective today, today only we have one objective we are, we are going to focus on. We are going to write an email. We are going to write an email to a friend, to a friend, giving news and discussing differences between your language and English. Okay? I mean, today we are going to learn how to write an email to your friend comparing between English and our mother language. It is Arabic, okay? Uh, now, look at this picture. What do, you, what do you see? And if you see like an English as an international language, what, we, what does it mean, English as international language? When you read such a title, in a book. What do you think? Mm. English as an international language. English as an international language. Okay? English is a language. Okay? International, globally, you mean? Language, of course, refers to English. First, we have to agree that English is international language. So why? For uh, what, what are the reasons behind that? Okay, Okay. let us to check some answers for some students. I prepare some things because it is the first spoken language in the world. Okay, because English is the first spoken language around the world or in the world. Okay, uh, spoken language means the, the, the language of communication, the language of communication. For example, people in the United States uh, will speak English in the uh, United Kingdom and in, uh, in Europe in general. If you travel there, you can communicate with those people with English, using English. So English is the first spoken language in the world or ar around the world. Second, some students said that English as an international medium of communication. Medium means tall. Tall. People use English to communicate with others. Okay. And third, it is the language of technology. Of course, it is the, it is the language of technology. Technology, because uh, we can use them uh, in technology like internet, also like uh, technical, uh, like s some machines, uh, and so on. We have a lot of. Uh, technology, uh, uh, some machines, and it is important for communicating with members of different cultures, different cultures, Arabic cultures, Indian cultures, European cultures. So these are four reasons, are four reasons uh, for English as international language, okay? And we, we, we can mention more than four reasons, okay? Now let us to move to the next slide. You see this question. Compare your first language with English. How is it similar and how is it different? Okay, our mother language is Arabic. Now we are going to compare between English and Arabic. Okay, in some points. For example, we are going to uh, compare between Arabic and English in grammar, pronunciations, vocabulary, speaking, expressions, so let us to, to compare between them. What do you think? Grammar in Arabic and grammar in English. Some students think that grammar uh, in Arabic is easy. Some students think that grammar in Arabic is difficult. And English also. Some students think grammar in English is very di difficult. Okay? Similarities, similarities between Arabic and English 
okay all of or both languages have part of speech part of speech means the uh, subject verb object adverb adjectives okay يعني اجزاء الكلام يعني جميع اللغات متشابهين في الفعل والفاعل والمفعول به والاحرف so this, uh, 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 these are similarities but differences many in arabic many in arabic means you can find some rules in arabic you can't find it in in english uh, pronunciations pronunciations the way of speaking the way of speaking some students think pronunciation in arabic is very difficult and some also students think that pronunciation in english also very difficult okay similarities both language have uh, standard pronunciations and also differences they both have different accents means people for example in arabic people who live in the south uh, have a different accent from people who differ uh, who live in for example north okay uh, vocabularies in arabic some students think there are many words in english uh, in, in arabic but in english less than that uh, meaning similarities it means word in english have the same meaning in arabic some students think that and agreed with this context differences in context context word used in english it has different meanings okay uh, let us to take an example like bank in english it has three or more uh, meaning uh, speaking some students think or some people think that speaking in arabic uh, difficult but in english easy okay accent they have the same accents for example in uh, uh, similarity for in, in, the, in both language and dialects it means the dialects related to the region of uh, uh, the region people speaks expressions expressions three two words come together to give us expressions many many meaning meaning it means these guys uh, tables up to you the information which are included here up to you up to you okay now from this table we will move to learn how to write an email to a friend okay we will learn how to write a fr uh, email an email to a friend okay we have some steps we have some steps we have some steps first you have to greet your friend you have to greet your friend when you write an email you have to greet your friend let us to say here you have to greet your friend uh, for example uh, first you have to greet by name his name by mention his name hi badria hi ali hi ahmed okay and sign with your friend name okay or your friend your friend to your uh, to, uh, to your, your name to your friend write your name here okay your the name of your friend and the name of you after that you have to start with how are you doing this informal language this informal language okay informal يعني بمعنى انها لغه غير رسميه لغه حبيه وديه بين الصديق والصديقه يعني للمسؤول الكبير ما تستطيع تقول له how are you doing يعني كيفك ما تستطيع تقول له كيفك لكن مع زميل تقول له how are you doing okay how are you doing did you have a good summer did you have a good summer as you see you ask him yeah. you start with the question so because it is informal informal email okay this is the first step you have to write uh, the name of your friend informally and you signed with your name okay uh, second if you want to uh, after finishing greet greet your friend greet your friend يعني تحيي زميلك okay you have to write as if you, you were speaking to him for example use contracted contracted form contracted form i mean by contracted form the form with comma the form with comma look here the uh, word with comma يعني for example how how is school comma the verb have have the verb is 
the verb is have the verb is have the verb you can use have okay you can use have have this contracted form contracted form the word is have okay and we have question and we have comma that is okay that is that is and also all these are guys refers to informal way of writing okay also we have uh, for example when you write identify different identify different uh, aspect or components of the entities entities that you are comparing entities the component of the entities that you are comparing for example language spoken plus writing language variety and speakers for example for example for example you are you are focused on grammar you are focused on grammar and also you are going to focus on some uh, aspect like pronouns okay this uh, these are related to language uh, and also to communicate so we have three components okay the first paragraph is greetings the second paragraph tell us general idea the third paragraph to focus on components يعني تركز على العناصر اللي انت تبغى تتكلم عليها في القطعة يعني انت الآن بتقارن بين لغتين بالتالي انت بتركز على القواعد بتركز على طريقة الكلام في القواء في اللغة بتركز على الحديث اوكي these are components and let us to move and think of example and consider similarities and differences okay بعد ذلك نركز على الأمثلة يعني لما تيجي تتكلم when you write لما تتكلم تكتب الأمثلة على سبيل المثال for example give us an example give uh, give the readers example uh, uh, for example let us to read now let us to read for a minute that made me feel a bit bitter but I still think French is much harder than English harder harder is uh, he 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 compared now English with the French okay English has lots of more words but the grammar is so easy on comparisons okay well I might oh well I must keep trying hard to learn French and suppose and one day I will be able to speak as well as you uh, guess what my parents have given me their permission to come and stay with you during the school holidays isn't that cool we should chat soon and make plans okay now uh, as you see again we the the format of email write the name the name of your friends with hi with hello and sign it with your name right your your friend Ali Ahmed okay and you have to to mention or you have to uh, order your your email yani how many paragraphs and yani for example now we have the first paragraph second paragraph third fourth and number five okay we have yani khamsa faqarat the first one greeting tahiya how are you doing okay did you have a good summer did you have a good winter and give us the general idea ta'tina fikra amma yani for example this is my first week back to high school you can say this is my first month this is the second month in high school and i want to tell you something okay and third and uh, uh, through uh, during this paragraph you have to mention your your goal of of uh, email yani for example you can say 
I want to compare between Arabic and English or the France and French and English. Okay. Next, then mention the component. Mention the components of your email. Yani for example, you are going to focus on three or four uh, points. Uh, you want to compare between grammar in both language, pronunciation in both language, or vocabulary in both language. Okay. Then you have to con conclude your uh, email with, uh, well, you can just say, well, bye for now. يعني كانك تقول مع السلامة. Bye for now and send me all your news soon. Well, bye for, bye for now and send me all your news soon. Okay, guys, this is an email. You can short, short the email to be uh, 10 lines or less than this, yeah, I mean from six or from seven to 10, okay? But you have to focus on the, the main points. And it doesn't focus on the main points. The main points بعدين تعطينا فكرة عامة عن الموضوع اللي أنت تبغى تتكلم فيه. بعدين تفصل تفصل الموضوع يعني في ثلاث أربع خمس أسطر وبعدين تختم ب بوداع يعني كأنك تقوله مع السلامة يعني باي ناو أن سند مي أول يور نيوز سون ثم التوقيع. أوكي. ناو جايز ذيس إز ويل بي يور هوم وورك. أي وونت يو تو أنسر ذيس كويشن. Write an email, write an email to an international friend and explain how your language is similar or different to English. Okay, this will be homework. Please try to practice uh, your writing and inshallah later I'm going to ask you uh, to do something more. Okay, summary, summary, writing, summary, today, we focused on how to write an email to a friend. I told you, greet, greet him. Write, uh, write, uh, write. Uh, your writing should be, uh, should use, you should use contracted form, contracted for, for form, as I told you. يعني I, uh, instead of I have, I have, يعني بدو باستخدام الفواصل. And also identify different aspects or components. تركز على النقاط الرئيسية and finally uh, support your email with example okay thank you guys thank you so much hopefully you enjoy my uh, class see you next time